Welcome everyone at the next 20 minute session. We are here today to share our top five most cares about onboarding new team members. And when I talk about we, I'm here together with my colleague. Hi everyone, I'm Michaela, I'm data consultant, and for now I'm working about two hours at ACB Kubiru. I'm Wolfgang, I'm data consultant too. I'm a little bit more at the company, so I'm, I'm there with uh, ACB Kubiru for 13 years now. And today we would like to share those things where we think you need to be different when it deals with uh, onboarding new team members, how to gain new team members. And everything starts with those two questions, or not two questions, those two sentences. People are looking for new jobs, and on the other side, companies are looking for new team members. And uh, those two groups have to find each other. And it often starts with some pages like this. Hey, we've got those job offers for you. We uh, have some sort of, whatever is mentioned there, project leader, junior software developer, BI developer, and uh, there are some benefits listed, like you get free coffee, you get free fruits. Nice, huh? right? Uh, that's what we've seen. You need to be different. So you need to think how you can integrate new team members in an ideal way into your company, into your team. And that's why we thought, why not share our five must cares for onboarding new team members. And what is the first thing, the first contact? Well, it's the job interview. So approximately two and a half years ago, I was searching through some job postings and came across the position of the data consultant of Kubiru. The job description was pretty much that what I'm expecting from a future job, so I decided to give it a try, and indeed, a few days later, I received the invitation to the job interview. My first reaction, of course, great joy. But after some brief reflection on past job interviews, my excitement turned into uncertainty. I remember one job interview as if it was yesterday. I was sitting in a room with the CEO of the company and the data scientist team leader, and actually I felt like I was back in the situation of my bachelor exam. I was bombarded with questions, I guess, for about an hour, and the question covered nearly each subject of my studies. So believing that all job interviews are conducted in a manner like that, I immediately started to prepare for the upcoming job interview. And the day of the job interview was getting closer and closer, and my nervousness increased with each passing day. But what we try, we try not to do it the usual way. So when we talk about the job interview and the assessment, what we want to know and get to know is the you. So the person on the other side of the table. Our, it's called assessment, but it's a nice morning or afternoon in the office, maybe solving some small things, but it's a usual working day. We are drinking coffee. The new and planned team member, he or she can use everything she needs to solve it, including all the team members that are sitting around the person. So it's get to know each other. And if the person fits into the team, that's the thing what we've learned. It's not the knowledge, it's okay, but you can learn stuff. And if that person is the best and intelligent person of the, on the universe, but he or she doesn't fit into the team, hmm. So how, how was the interview, Michaela? So in fact, my nervousness was completely baseless since the expected assessment turned out to be a very great morning with one of my current colleagues who showed me his projects, the tools they are using, and actually I got a really great insight into the company culture. And so the assessment didn't felt 
anything like an assessment, but more getting to know each other. And in contrary to my expectations, the focus was really mainly on me and my personality and not only on my skills and experiences. And job interview is done. Next step, well, contracts are signed. And now it's our turn from the company side to prepare the welcome. We know the day the new team member is planned to arrive. So we have to prepare everything. Laptop, accounts, everything that is needed that the first day of the new team member will have a great start. So we have to look for what's the, the office where the new team member will be placed, what are the, maybe the projects he or she will start together with us. And yeah, the first day, so how was, how was your first day? So I was really looking forward to the first day of working. Nevertheless, I had some mixed emotions. On the one hand, I was really excited to meet my new team members and yeah, to, to start a new chapter of my career, of my life. But on the other hand, I also felt a bit nervous and anxious because I was not pretty sure what my day-to-day -day responsibilities will look like and whether I really fit in. But as my job interview, the first day, day went completely different than I expected. To my surprise, I was greeted with a welcome cake and the first action in my new company, in my new job, was to cut the cake with my name on it. And then all the team members of my new team joined and after some, some minutes I, I really got to know all my team members and with a small gesture like a welcome cake, the employees immediately felt very warm welcomed and comfortable. So after some nice talks, um, I got a tour through the office and of course with stops at the two most important places in our company, the coffee machine and the candy jar. So we have free coffee plus the cake on the first day. And it's not only, it's not only coffee and breaks, so we, we also have that formal uh, introduction session for new team members. On our monthly show fix, we've got all the new team members be presented to everyone in the company. So that's not only the team that welcomes the new team members, so the whole company, and that's our CEO presenting Michaela to all the other colleagues. And then fun is over. Work starts. So how, how's the work prepared? So first time, the first time in a new company can often be very challenging. New impressions, new environment, new tasks. And therefore, each new employee in our company is assigned a guide, a mentor, in the first few weeks of the onboarding process, which provides support and guidance. And this ensures that the new employee can transition in the new company culture very smoothly and this gives the, the employee some, some sort of security. And in case there is no one around to ask or the employee just don't want to ask that many questions at the beginning, we also have a very comprehensive employee handbook which contains all the essential information like the timekeeping, vacation policies and contact information on key personnel. And it's definitely no problem if there are questions any 10 minutes. So we are there, the, the guides and the mentors, to really provide a safe start into the environment. And that is really, really important. What we've seen, we are a consultancy company. And consultancy work can be hard and challenging, especially at the beginning. I, I worked in a software development company with almost no customer contact before consulting. And then customer projects kicked in, customers kicked in, okay, we have projects to do. So what we are well, not only planning, but what we do is to provide those new team members a safe start. 
we teach them how we are working on projects. We tell them all those well, maybe tips and tricks how to deal with customers, those friendly ones and those maybe not that friendly customers. And uh, what we do in the beginning, we are working on tasks together. So it's more like a pair programming. So it's not like, okay, that's the project. You know how to uh, build an ADF pipeline, for example. We try to build it together. So small task, solving them together, getting into that area. And it's like that safe start that gets more and more responsibility from our side to the direction of the new team members. And that is, well, leading to the next thing. It's not the, the usual thing that we as the mentors are there for the project lead, so it, it shifts a little bit. So as Wolfgang already said, after some period of time, the workload between the senior and the junior slightly shifted. So the junior can take over more responsibilities, more complex tasks, but already has the opportunity to ask questions, to get advice, to get support. And this allows to, to gain knowledge and skills in a protected environment. And as the junior becomes more confident and experienced, they can take over more tasks and maybe up to, to leading their own projects. And it's not only the projects. There are some things maybe the mentor not directly forces new team members to come with. So I'm here on the stage together with Michaela, and it's her first session today. So I think now it's time for a big, big applause. And the, the, the grow phase, it's not only getting into technology, getting into projects, it's also the personal thing and the, well, professional development thing. So what I and we try to do is give team members the opportunity to maybe speak at SQL Bits or attend conferences. So what we really try is that professional development is, well, combined with fun. And I think it's fun, or is it's it? It's great. Yeah, <laughs> good. Mission accomplished. So that, that's the reason where we think that the grow is really, really important. Technology is one side, but it has to be fun, too. Not only fun, there has to be some work. So to further develop our experiences, we have the opportunity to attend Brain Days. In the Brain Day, we can work open-minded on topics for which there isn't time during the, the daily working routine. And yeah, this, this allows us to, to get to know new techno technologies, um, trends, and the, the most important thing is to learn from each other. We are working together individually or also in cross-team groups. And in addition to the brain days, oh. yeah. we also have knowledge days, and these Knowledge Days um, provides a variety of presentations from internal colleagues, but also from external experts, like we had a few weeks ago when Microsoft visited us in our new office. So hiring new employees is one thing, but to keep employees in the company, it requires the company um, to make them feel comfortable. And in our opinion, the basis for this is team spirit. Therefore, we are making many activities together. We are going on a two-day trip once a year. And of course, we make sure that we have plenty of opportunities to celebrate together. And we know how to celebrate. So we, we moved into a new office, and uh, the office warming party is planned, so I'm really looking forward to that one. And that picture is taken from the last Christmas party. And what we usually do is those team members that start within the next one or two months are already invited to the Christmas party. So there are two faces over there 
that haven't started their work on that day. So we really want to include them into the team as early as possible in order to grow and get into the team. So the team is, well, the group that really bounds together. And I think it works well on our side. Oh, that's good, that's good. Yeah, and those are those five steps where we thought you need to be different. And um, it, it starts with the job interview to really get to know the other side and not only what are the certificates and what are your studies and what do you know about technology X and Y and Z. Preparing for the welcome is very important from the company side and maybe some surprises. Now you know that you get a cake if you start working at our company. Shameless plug, but uh, no, it's, you need to, to prepare the first day and the first week uh, that the new team members feel welcome. That's one thing we've learned. And also for the guidance and mentoring. So that is the, especially with the consulting business, it's different than your nine to five job. It's different with all those different projects, customers and so on. So maybe some guidance is needed there. And also the growth to give new team members chances to present, to attend conferences, to learn new stuff, in their working time, well, that is a thing that really, ah, I think both sides can have a positive thing. But it looks like point number five is the end of the story, but no. It's a circle. Michaela already talked about this. If you grow and get into the thing, the new team members get into the mentoring. The new team members get into the project uh, management. They to, the, the new team members get into the, well, the teaching side. They teach new colleagues that stuff. So it's really a circle. And what, what was the most, well, interesting thing on your side? So actually, there were two main points. The first one was for sure the job interview. So already during the interview, I really hoped that I can be part of this company. And the second thing was that from the beginning on, I was able to work in project, to work with customers, but I, I didn't have any, any responsibilities. I, I just had the chance to learn, to gain skills, and yeah, that, that was really great. And it's not only the positive things that the new team members gain. For me, it's Point number five, grow. As a mentor, as a guide, you learn that many things. And I, when I look at that direction, Nicola, we, we had some contacts in the past. So you learn that much when you guide and, well, take the same path as your colleagues. And with that, we are at the end of our five topmost cares about onboarding new team members. I hope, and we hope, that you enjoyed the session. Do you have any questions? Yes. Was it a Sacher Torte? <laughs> yes, it was a Sacher Torte, chocolate cake, apricot uh, uh, jam. So it was, it is delicious. I, I know, I know. <laughs> Thank you very much. How do you deal with the remote world? I see you've got an office, mm -hmm. things like that. Do people work from home? And is it like a kind of manager thing that you come in on day one to get your cake and that type of stuff? Yeah. So the, the, the question was, how do you deal and how we deal with the remote world, especially with the cake? So that is, that is the thing, yeah. What, what we've seen is in our team, so the data team within our company, we've been the team that has been in the office at most, even during pandemic. Not every day, but we, we used to be in the office like one, two, three days per, per week. And especially when we knew there is a new team member coming on that day, we tried to be there. So it, maybe it was the cake was not on the first day at the beginning, but in the last one or, or first one or two weeks. So we, we really tried to, to uh, well, 
get the bond to the new team members. It, it wasn't that easy as before. So there, there was a comment. Uh, you hired two new team members, and you you flew at their place, or they came because they are working totally remote. Yeah, they're okay. Going to work remote in Abu Dhabi. In Abu Dhabi. Oh, nice company trip. Yeah. <laughs> so virtual thing is not that easy. Um, we are out of time. I'm going to take your question in the break. Yeah. Yes, we are. We are. I know Heino is from Austria, so yeah, we are hiring. But fun, fun aside, thanks for attending. I'm going to come back to, to your question. Thank you. Thank you.